CO2 car import software. In the following tutorial, we will demonstrate the correct procedure for importing your CAD generated CO2 dragster series car. The process is simple, but there are a couple of rules that have to be followed in order to successfully carve your CO2 car. This software is to be used with the CarveRight CO2 car jig. The instructions for the jig can be found on the CarveRight website. The CO2 car import software is very similar in function to the STL import software from CarveRight. In fact, the CO2 car import is a specialized case of the STL software made specifically for the CO2 car jig and general competition rules. There are four additional tutorials on the STL import software at the CarveRight website, which we recommend for achieving best carving results. The first issue to consider before you open the software is to make sure that your car CAD model fits within the dragster competition size limits. The pre-cut wood blocks that mount into the carving jig are shaped like a truncated wedge with a length of 12 inches across the bottom and 2 and 3 quarter inches across the large end of the wedge. This larger end also contains the 3 quarter inch pre-bored hole for the CO2 cartridge that powers the finished car. Your car design needs to take into account two zones where the software will not allow the machine to carve because of interference issues with the jig mounting hardware. The first zone is a one inch cylindrical zone around the CO2 cartridge hole. The second zone is a 7 8 inch wide area at the end of the wedge where the wood block is held into the jig. If you happen to import a car model that is carved in these zones, the software will automatically add material to your design so that the cutting does not occur in these areas. While the car will still carve, the end result may not be desirable based on your initial design, so make sure that the models are to size. If you want to take advantage of the full 12 inches of the block, you will have to finish the nose area by hand. One of the most important things to make sure is that you're using the right bit on your CO2 car jig. It's an eighth inch straight ball nose carving bit, and the important part is how far the bit sticks out of the adapter. On our normal bits, they stick out about an eighth of an inch, eighth to a quarter of an inch. But on our CO2 car bit, it needs to have a, a longer reach and therefore it's pushed in about an eighth of an inch. So make sure that when you're using your jig that you're using the correct bit. Finally, make sure that the format of your CAD model is STL, which is a universal 3D CAD format. Once you are confident in your model's design, it is time to open the software and position the model in the correct orientation for carving. Open the CarveRight Designer software and select File on the main menu bar. From the File drop-down menu, select the Import option and then select the CarveRight Racing Dragster menu item. This will send you to the opening screen of the CO2 car import software. It is important to note that the CarveRight Racing Dragster menu item will not be available if you have not already registered your CO2 import software on your account. If you need help registering your software, please visit the support section on the CarveRight website. Next, select the Import STL button near the nose of the pictured car and browse to find your STL car model. Select Open to continue. You will now see the car design in the orientation window. The orientation window allows you to position the car in the required orientation for carving. It will also allow you to scale the model if desired. All of the function buttons seen in the orientation window are covered in detail in the STL Importer software tutorials. You can rotate the model in real time just like a project in the CarveRight software to get your bearings if needed. The first orientation requirement is that the STL model surface must be facing the correct direction for the software to interpret it. The surface direction is indicated by the surface color of the model. As you can see in our example, the color of the model is slightly pinkish. We want the color to be tan or brown. To change the color to brown, simply toggle the checkbox titled right-handed in the middle of the controls box. As you can see, the model turns to the desired brown color. Selecting the next button will send you to the confirmation screen that displays the model as it will be carved with the keep out zones added. We can see in our example that the model is not oriented in the correct direction because the cylindrical keep out zone is on the nose of the car and the rectangular keep out zone for the nose clamp is located at the back of the model. It is also upside down. Press the back button to go back to the orientation page. The correct orientation of the car will have the long flat part of the car facing the bottom of the screen 
and the nose of the car, or the small end of the wedge, facing the left-hand side of the screen when the green orientation plane is facing you. Use the model orientation buttons to rotate the model until you get the flat down and the nose left orientation. Another way to verify that the model is oriented correctly is by looking at the axis cube in the lower left hand side of the window. If the green Y axis is pointing toward the top of the car and the red X axis is pointing toward the back of the car, it is oriented correctly. Select the next button to go to the confirmation page again. You can now see that the finished car is oriented correctly with a small block of material on the nose for the keep out zone. The final step is verifying the holes for the wheel axles. If you had made the axle holes part of your CAD model prior to importing, the software will automatically detect them and add corresponding drill control points. If, however, you have not designed them into your CAD model, like in our example, the software recognizes this and displays a window that indicates that the holes will be added and also directs you to verify their positioning. The added holes are now shown in the model view. You can move their position by clicking on a hole and then moving the red control point that appears. Notice that as you move them around the block of wood that you can dimensionally attach them to any edge or center line of the wood block for precise positioning. You only need to position the axle holes on this face of the car. The machine will drill the corresponding holes on the opposite face during carving so that the holes penetrate all the way through the wood block. Click Finish to send the completed dragster car to the memory card. Take the car to the machine and it will handle the rest. Again, make sure that you read and follow all of the instructions on using your CO2 card jig before you begin carving.